class. Today we are going to read the story of the three little pigs. I am sure that some of you have heard of this story before or have even read it before. But for those of you who have never read it, you are going to love it. First, you are going to read the story individually, which means alone. And then later, you and your shoulder partner are going to come up with a new ending for the story. Think about what might have happened if there was a fourth pig in the story, or if the big bad wolf had blown down the third pig's house. Okay, begin reading silently. I will be walking around the room to assist anyone who needs help or to ask questions regarding the story. Heather. Teacher, I need help with this word. Okay, did you look at the surrounding words that are around the word? Um, it says the big bad burr mm, wolf. What do you think that word means? It means, I think it means something bad. Okay, ferocious. It ferocious. does mean bad. It means scary. Thank you for asking, Heather. Okay, everyone, freeze! I believe everyone's done reading their story silently. So now I'm going to model and show you how to create your storyboard. I made up my very own ending for the story. In my new ending, the wolf huffed and puffed and blew down the third pig's house. Before the wolf blew down the house, the three little pigs dug a secret hole in the ground. The wolf was confused and couldn't find the pigs anywhere. After hours of searching, the wolf sadly and angrily went home and forgot all about the pigs. The pigs hid in their secret hole until the wolf was gone. They lived happily ever after, and they always made sure to have a secret hole in the ground. These are my illustrations, my pictures for the ending I created, as well as the words that go along with the pictures. So this is what you guys are going to do with your partners. Now, I want everyone to pair up with their shoulder partner. Your job is to complete a, or to come up with a new ending for the story, The Three Little Pigs. Each group will have pencils, markers, crayons, and paper for the storyboard. Make sure that you and your partner brainstorm and come up with a couple different endings. Once you are done, you guys have to agree on one ending that is your favorite and then create the storyboard. One person can be the illustrator and the other person can be the scribe. If you need any help, I'll be walking around the room. Okay, good job everyone. As I was walking around, I heard some great new endings to the story. You now will be grouped into groups of four. How many? Four. And I will assign a new ending that was created by one of your classmates to each group. Then, you will act out the new ending with your group. You will only have 15 minutes to assign roles and prepare. Have fun! All right, students, now that we've finished our morning work, let's join me over here on the reading rug. Get comfortable and get our listening ears on so we're ready for our next lesson. All right, now that we're ready, we're going to go ahead and we're going to read the story of the three little pigs today. And while we're reading the story, we are going to be talking about the different characters that we encounter. And we're going to make some predictions during the story. And then we're going to be talking about alternate endings. Who knows what alternate endings means? What is alternate endings? Sophia. Yes, very good, absolutely. Alternate means different. So we're going to think about different endings that we might be able to create with this story. All right, let's go ahead and begin our story. All right, class, now that we've read and listened to the story, The Three Little Pigs, let's go ahead and put our thinking caps on and let's begin to brainstorm together some ideas of different endings. I've actually already put one different ending up here on our chart paper to give you an example. This is one I created. All right, now it is your turn. Wow, class, that was amazing. You guys created some amazing ideas and some great alternate endings here. And now we have four to choose from. This is wonderful. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and show you what the next part of our lesson is. All right, at this time, after I've wrote down the different ideas on my chart paper underneath the exampled idea, I will also showcase 
on the whiteboard a video recording of myself acting out the alternate example that I already give given the class. All right, class, now that you have your ideas already down on the paper and you've seen an example of what we're going to be doing by acting it out and making a drama piece, let's go ahead and break up into our groups of four so we can begin to brainstorm on how you're going to showcase the alternate ending of your choice up here. Now remember, if you need any help, you can always go back to the story and refer to it for more brainstorming power. Once the students have broken up into their groups of four, I will break off to help any uh, students that need it to, um, and with regards to level four, WIDA, our expanding level, um, I will offer more one-on-one -on -one help with brainstorming and also aid them in any rereading of the story to help them with development of this dramatic piece um, for their alternate ending. Hello, my name is Ariana Moraglia and I'm going to be demonstrating our group's level three. So in level three, they have a general understanding of the subject, and which in this case will be the three little pigs, and uh, they're able to um, do, do the activity without um, disruption, um, but they, they need a guide to go along with it in order for them to be successful. I don't have a copy of the three little pigs, but I'm just going to pretend like I do and you're going to be my student. And I'm going to be demonstrating how you would find, or how students would determine the sequence of events while reading the text out loud whole group. So, pretend I'm reading. It's a book about dogs, but, you know. And I'll stop on a page, and I'll say, The big bad wolf blew down the first pig's little house. And I would stop there, and I would say, So kids, how do you think the big bad wolf blowing down the first pig's house is going to make the other pigs feel? Or what, what do you think is going to happen next in the story? Why is this scene so important? And they would raise their hand and um, ask, why, why do you think it's important, Miss Maraglia? And uh, I would go ahead and model, I think this first scene is important because the big bad wolf might try and blow the other pigs' houses down. And the first pig might tell the other pigs about it and they might be more prepared. Why do you think it's important, kids? And then we would continue on. And we'll come across another page that might be important. So when the big bad wolf blows down another one of the pigs' house. And then I'll ask them to compare it to the last event that happened and how is it different or how is it the same? And basically we're going to model that before we get to the point where we can create our own version of the Three Little Pigs. So as long as I'm there as a model, the students should be able to gather their own thoughts and ideas to go forward with the activity. Good morning class. Today we are going to read the story of the Three Little Pigs. Have any of you read or heard of this book before? Okay, well, it looks like a few of you have read it already. That's great. Let's all come and sit around me on the carpet so everybody can see the pictures in the book. When looking at the pictures, be sure to focus on how each of the characters are feeling because we're going to talk about their feelings later and perform a short skit. As I am reading the book, I will stop and discuss and model how I think all of the characters are feeling. Okay, let's begin reading. Alright, let's stop here. What do you think is happening here? Great answer, Brian. I agree. I think all the pigs seem very, very happy with the houses they have built. What about here, Sammy? How do you think the pig is feeling? Yes, very good. Once the big bad wolf blew down the first house of straw and the second house of sticks, the pig seemed very, very worried and scared. 
Now, they're getting to the last house of brick. How do you think the pigs are feeling now? Good answer. Why do you think they're feeling safe, Sarah? All right, class. Now that we have finished reading the book, I am now going to assign you all into three different groups. The first group, group one, will focus on how the characters were feeling at the beginning of the book. Group two will focus on the characters and how they were feeling in the middle of the book. In group three, you will focus on how the characters felt at the end of the book. You all have 15 minutes to brainstorm and create a short skit about how the characters felt at your particular book, part in the book. I will be coming around to each group and answering any questions that you may have. Have fun. Good afternoon, students. For this lesson, we're going to be reading The Three Little Pigs. I want you all to come gather around me so you can all see the pictures in the book. I'm going to read the book and as I'm reading, I want you to look at the pictures and think about the characters and their actions. I'm going to be modeling my thinking aloud at each page. The Three Little Pigs. Hmm. Class, do you see this straw house right here? Do you think it could fall down easily? What do you think? Great answers. Let's keep reading on to find out what happens next. Hmm. I noticed on this last page that the three little pigs are more confident about the house. Do you think that this is because they know the wolf finally can't blow the house down? Hmm. I agree. Now that we've read the book, I'm going to get into groups of four. You will each play one character in the book and will act out the story in front of the class as a group. If you have any questions at all, feel free to ask. I will be walking around and helping students. Group A. If you are ready, go up to the front of the class and act out your play. Wow, great job everyone. Acting out stories is a fun way to remember the events from a story. Now I want you all to discuss with your group members what some of their benefits of acting out plays are. Hmm. 